the more I understand of my sense experience, the more I perceive its shortcomings and inadequacy as a basis of life. To one who is deaf and blind, the spiritual world offers no difficulty. Nearly everything in the natural world is as vague, as remote from my senses, as spiritual things seem to the minds of most people. For the inner or mystic sense, if you like, gives me the vision of the unseen. My mystic world is lovely with trees and clouds and stars and eddying streams that I've never seen. I am often conscious of beautiful flowers and birds and laughing children, where to my seeing associates there is nothing. They skeptically declare that I see light that was never on sea or land. But I know that their mystic sense is dormant. And that is why there are so many barren places in their lives. They prefer facts to vision. The only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Those truths have been to my faculties what light colour and music are to the eye and ear. They have lifted my wistful longing for a fuller sense life into a vivid consciousness of the complete being within me. Each day comes to me with both hands full of possibilities and in its brief course I discern all the verities and realities of my existence. The bliss of growth, the glory of action, the spirit of of beauty. This divine love and wisdom is a fountain of life 
I am always happy to be near. I bury my fingers in this great river of light that is higher than all stars, deeper than the silence that enfolds me. It also is great while all else is small, fragmentary. I can see, and that is why I can be happy in what you call the dark. But which to me is golden, I can see a God-made world, not a man-made world. Everyone who wishes to gain true knowledge must climb the hill difficulty alone. And since there is no royal road to the summit, I must zigzag it in my own way. I slip back many times. I fall. I stand still. I run against the edge of hidden obstacles. I lose my temper and find it again and keep it better. I trudge on. I gain a little. I feel encouraged. I get more eager and climb higher and begin to see the widening horizon. Every struggle is a victory. One more effort and I reach the luminous cloud the blue depths of the sky, the uplands of my desire. Have you ever been at sea in a dense fog when it seemed as if a tangible white darkness shut you in and the great ship, tense and anxious, groped her way toward the shore with plummet and sounding line? And you waited with beating heart for something to happen I was like that ship before my education began. Only I was without compass or sounding line and had no way of knowing how near the harbour was. Light. Give me light was the wordless cry of my soul. And the light of love shone on me in that very hour.
I believe that God is in me as the sun is in the colour and fragrance of a flower. The light in my darkness. The voice in my silence. I cannot understand why anyone should fear death. Life here is more cruel than death. Life divides and estranges. While death, which at the heart is life eternal, reunites and reconciles. I have a joyous sense of personal immortality. Life in the other world is just as real and full of change and wonders as on earth. But one is given eyes and ears to perceive far more clearly the varieties of good and constructive thought that the flesh conceals on earth. I believe that when the eyes within my physical eyes shall open upon the world to come, I shall simply be consciously living in the country of my heart. As I wander through the dark, encountering difficulties, I am aware of encouraging voices that murmur from the spirit realm. I sense a holy passion pouring down from the springs of infinity. Bound to suns and planets by invisible cords. I feel the flame of eternity in my soul. Here in the midst of the everyday air. I sense the rush of ethereal rains. I am conscious of the splendour that binds all things of earth to all things of heaven. Immured by silence and darkness, I possess the light which shall give me vision a thousandfold when death sets me free.